Hey developers, do you want to build a clone of YouTube using Vue.js? If so, you're in the right place. In this video, I'm going to look at several different apps that were created using Vue and some that were created using Vue 3 in the Composition API. We're going to take a look at the source code. We're going to see how they work. And I hope that this gives you some inspiration on what you can build with Vue. Now, one of the things I always struggled with when I'm trying to learn a new programming framework or language or library is what to build. And I think some of the advice you get out there is to always build something that you would want to build anyways. Like, so if you're really interested in Marvel movies, create a Marvel movies website. But what happens if you don't come up with any inspiration? Well, in this video, I'm gonna show you some websites that were created to help you give you some inspiration. You can even look at the source code. It's all on GitHub. They all have demos. So it's really cool to be see what, what other people are creating within Vue and you know, see what's possible. And before we get too far, I just wanna have a quick word from our sponsor. Hey developers, I wanna thank our sponsor today, Springboard. Now Springboard is an online bootcamp that offers flexible mentor-led courses in data science, UI UX, machine learning, and software engineering. In the software engineering career track, you'll learn the skills and gain the experience employers are looking for. Throughout the nine month online course, you'll work one-on-one -on -one with an expert software engineering mentor to two full stack capstone projects to showcase your skills to employers. You'll also work one-on-one -on -one with a personal career coach to create a successful job search strategy, build your network in tech, craft a full stack development resume and LinkedIn, prepare with mock behavioral and technical interviews and more. And the best part, if you don't get hired in a software engineering role within six months of graduating, you'll receive a full tuition refund. So make sure you check out Springboard. The link is in the description. Make sure you click on that link in the description. Thanks. All right, so let's go ahead and deep dive into these, these different projects. As always, I will leave links in the description below so you guys can look at them and check them out yourselves. So yeah, let's begin. I'm not gonna do too much editing in this video. I'm just gonna kind of ramble on and talk. There will be in the description below, there's going to be little uh, markers where everything is. So if you want to skip around and look at different projects, feel free to kind of jump around and use those different timestamps. So first, I just want to give a quick shout out to my friend Florin. He actually created the 10 JavaScript projects in 10 hours project recently, kind of gave me some inspiration for this video. He's actually creating all these. So he like live streamed for 10 hours, creating all these different projects. This isn't anything to do with Vue, by the way, this is vanilla JavaScript, but this is kind of a neat neat thing he did. So like he did a drawing app, a movie app, a notes app, password generators. I think those are good, like basic apps to learn when you're first learning like a framework or you're learning web development. So check that out. But what I want to really show you today is apps that were created inside Vue and with Vue in mind, because it's really hard, I think, to really figure out like what are the best practices. Now, if you've been watching this channel, I really appreciate it. I think that's one of the things I try to do is show like what you how you should create view apps but you know you can't always have time to watch my channel there's other ways of, of learning too of course and so here is the moving search view it's i found it from a dev.2 article and this is uh by black sonic and so here's the app itself it's i've seen a lot of these type of movie apps as good examples to show how frameworks work the one thing that stood out for me on this one is he's actually created a hooks folder. So he basically created the a composition API hook that he can bring into his different components. So I don't know if you can see this. Uh, it says use movie app right here. I don't know if I can make this any bigger. I don't know if I can. But essentially it's, uh, oops, uh, essentially it's this use movie app API. He uses this reactive and then he uses this OMD API to grab movies. So you can like just search for whatever you want. I don't know, Twilight. So if I type in Twilight here, and there we go. Got made it a little bigger. And I hit search. Yeah, here's all the Twilight movies. So he uses this hook, it's called watch. He, basically he uses a watcher on here and uh, he passes in this movie API URL and this state.search, which gets updated. Um, because he's returning the state here. So let's take a look at the movie. So he has the computed property here. Here's the search functionality. He uses the setup function because he's using the composition API. And then he's returning the, um, and by the way, he's, he passes in search. Well, actually, yeah, he uses, 
yep, the view composition API. Like, let me see if I can find the exact place where he's bringing in this movie API hook. Let's see here. Header API. Here it is. He just used movie API right here. So he grabs the state out of it. And then he even uses the loading and search out of it as well. And when you actually go in and type something in, this it has the state sought search, so that gets added into the search state. So it's yeah, it's pretty cool the way he's doing it in here. I would highly recommend, I'm not gonna deep dive into it anymore, but you know, take a look how he's using this fetch API and how he's using these the view composition API, because I think this will really help understand what he's uh, trying to accomplish here. Yeah, here's his search loading. He's like his reactive state object coming back. And then the state.search defaults to Joker, but he obviously you could change it. Cool, so yeah, that's the first thing. And then the next one I wanna show you is this YouTube clone, which is really cool. So this guy created this whole YouTube clone. You can see it looks almost exactly like YouTube. Uh, obviously he has placeholder text everywhere. I believe you can even like click on things. He has, yeah, it looks like it even uh, plays videos, has an HTML5 player here. He has his own uh, comment section. It's really involved. And I'm not gonna get into too much of it because it's so many details. He actually has a whole back end using Node and a front end using Vue. He doesn't use the composition API though, but he does have quite a few components he set up. One, one pattern I like he did is he created the services folder and then in the services folder, anytime he needed it to connect to an API, he put it all in the services folder. So there's a couple of ways of organizing your Vue.js app that I see kind of often. One is to put all your calls to the back end into like a Vuex store. Another is to just create like utility folders or utility files that have your API calls in them. So this in this case, this is how he did it. And then he also has the services API which is this right here, which everything else imports, which actually has Axios create calls and sets the default headers. He has he obviously has a bear token, so you don't have to repeat that over and over again. So he has this kind of setup on each one of them, he even has interceptors. So if you, it's basically a way, if it receives certain things, it, it remove it does things. So like he removes his token and user item because he's using authentication. And so, yeah, you could kind of deep dive into how he did this on the front end and then he has linked to to the, the RESTful API repository using Node in the back end. This is definitely something I wanna maybe do a video of, like deep dive in, create sort of something similar. But yeah, Tech Reagan did a great job on this. Yeah, using JWTs, login, has pagination, a lot of really stu cool stuff in this. And I just wanted to share it with you guys. Cool, so the next one is called Vue Keep. This is a, a Google Keep clone with Vue, TypeScript, and Firestore. So once again, you know, talking to a Firestore backend, I know I get a lot of people asking me, can you do a, a, Mo, a Mongo Express View Node app? Can you do a one with Firestore? Can you do one with Amazon, Amazon Amplify? So I get a lot of questions like that and I just don't have time to make all these different apps. So if you are interested in today doing like something similar to uh, like a, a Node app in the back end and a View in the front end, like these, like these two projects here do something very similar to that, or in this case, it'd be Firestore, but the other one would be Node. So here you can see here, it's like a kind of a note-taking app. You could put a title, my title, notes, this is notes. And when you hit close, it adds it in here. You can also click here to edit it and you can make more changes to it. It uses Vutify, which is really cool. So you can see like how he does Vutify. He has nice effects here. You can see every time you hover over it, it's adding the pencil, adds a little drop shadow. So if you look at it here with the components, uh, you know, it's really properly, that's one thing too, you can see with good projects that they have many different components and everything is equally kind of divided up between logical parts in the app. That's usually a good sign, as long as it's not too much. If it's subdivided too many times, then it just gets confusing. But you can see here's his vCard action. He uses the, um, he's using TypeScript. So using uh, the component TypeScript at the at sign. So he's using um, different ways of using TypeScript in this. So there's two ways of using Vue and TypeScript. Uh, I don't love this way of, of doing it, but I know a lot of people who do. Uh, you have to use these property decorators. It's almost like you're writing Angular at that point. We can look in the package.json and see what classes he uses. So he's using 
this, yeah, this class component. So he's basically using classes, which is fine. I know a lot of companies that do it this way. It's not my favorite, but this is kind of cool. You can see how he did it in ViewKey. And the last one I want to show you is, uh, it's from a Medium article. It's on non-3BR, this is this guy's name, but he actually created an app using Vite. And if you don't know, Vite is like this really super fast way you can create View 3 apps. And I haven't seen many people create actual apps out of this, which is really neat. So you could see here, it's really simple, but he actually added a little bit of, he actually added a, a little bit of, of interactivity. He's using the composition API because he's using Vue 3. You can see here, here, here how he's using the store. He's creating this reactive object. He has some computed properties, adding, updating, removing. Uh, and this is what it looks like. It doesn't look too amazing, but I think this is one you just want to kind of play around with and just see how he's using the composition API and how it works. I, I think this is all being stored in local storage as well. Okay, so yeah, those are, are the different projects. I would highly recommend you know, skip around this video, take a look at them. Um, see, see, uh, see if you can learn something. And I will probably be doing one of these larger projects in a video probably in the next week. I want, I want to hear from you guys. Leave a comment below. If first, if you guys like this type of video of me highlighting other projects, let me know. Or if this was really boring, let me know too. And also, what kind of projects you like to see in the future? Do you want me to do more Node? W which ones? Let me know. Thanks. Take care.